A capacity audience of more than 500 people saw our award winners collect their gongs at our annual London conference. The winners were presented with their awards by Mike Brace, CBE. Patricia Smith was the first to receive an award in the Support and Community Rehabilitation Professional of the Year category. Helen George from North Wales was also a winner in this category. Andrew Matheson and Scott Mackey were named Optometrists of the Year after exceptional praise from those they have helped. Theo Empuslidis and his team at Leicester Royal Infirmary were given the Clinical Service of the Year Award. They were joined by staff from the eye clinics at St James and Seacroft Hospitals in Leeds, with nominations praising their determination to improve local facilities. The Chairman's Award for Volunteering went to four of our support group leaders. Peter McCready from Chester, Ruth Hollingshead from the Isle of Wight, David Fuller from North Staffordshire and Pauline Holloway from Banstead. The first Alan Alderman Award for services to people with macular conditions was presented to Amresh Chopdar. Dr Chopdar was the ophthalmologist of the Society's founder Elizabeth Thomas and also a founding trustee. I'm really humbled to be the first recipient of this named award and grateful to the trustees of their confidence on me. Although I have decided to take a lesser role, I remain committed to the society and continue to support the society. I remain grateful to all of you for the trust and support given to me for past 26 years. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, it's been a wonderful accolade, and um, I mean, I have to put my hand up and say that I wasn't the instigator of all the work that was done. My colleague, Mr. McKibben, and other colleagues were instrumental in putting together the funding requests and the business case, uh, which was made out to, to make the uh, unit of a viable and um, functioning new entity. Uh, we had struggled for some time in Leeds with um, inadequate facilities to treat the large numbers of patients that uh, were uh, presenting with macular disease. So from a nursing's point of view it's great to see that it's just a much better patient experience now and obviously we get a lot more people through now we've got five sort of purpose-built clean rooms instead of one we can obviously multiple more injections can go on per session and a lot quicker as well so um, from a nurse's point of view it's great because it's much more efficient and it's easier to operate in but from more importantly I think it's from a patient's point of view it's much superior. Oh, it, it's a real wow event, it's an uh, acknowledgement that we're maybe getting some of the things right uh, with, the OC, with OCTs and autofluorescence, looking after our patients with macular disease. Um, it was, I was amazed that so many people actually felt strongly enough to nominate us for this award, let alone actually win it. It's a, it's a tribute to my staff who helped me with these uh, screening tests we do. It's um, a tribute to the whole team, including eye surgeons, who help us co-manage these uh, macular disease patients. I was keeping it fairly low key, actually. I hadn't told many people, but it, it has now got out and uh, been lots of phone calls and congratulations. It's, uh, it's, uh, I accept it on behalf of the team, really. And Sir Alex Ferguson wouldn't be any good without uh, the players he's had playing for him, and that's very much how I feel. I'm extremely honoured. Uh, I just think there's so many deserving cases. Just in the latest side view, reading about this lady who is 92 and has just raised nearly £7,000 for the society, makes me feel very humble.